Hey guys, Tyro Farmer here, and on today's recipe, I'll be doing a uh, Italian beef. So, hope all is doing well. I'm gonna start off the process simple. I'll be showing you step by step, and I'm gonna start off with some pepper. I'm gonna put some uh, pepper on top of the meat. My next step, I'm gonna grab some salt. While I'm doing so, putting my pan on the stove, adding my salt, getting that salt and pepper on the top side. Flipping the meat around, put some more vigorous amount of pepper, a vigorous amount of salt, patting it into the meat. I'll show you what I mean, as you can see. So on top of the meat is salt and pepper on both sides. The next step, very simply, <coughs> excuse me, Whew, pepper got the better of me that one. I'm gonna add some oil to the pan. Probably a little bit more oil, not too much. So hey world, as I was saying, uh, right now I'm just trying to get the meat on the stove so I can get this Italian beef started. Get the meat so right around, as that's doing so, you can hear that beautiful sear. While that's going on, I'll be back. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead. Nice. Yeah, I'm doing a, a YouTube video. Okay. I want to apologize. I have not dipped off on you. I want to show you how the meat's coming about. So right now, this is like I said, this is an electric stove. So I got the heat up. But I'm gonna turn it up because I want to get a good pan sear on it. In order to get that, I'm gonna have to probably put it on a slight of a high heat. Hey, you started popping on this thing. This is crazy. I hate that. I'm going to let that sit for a while. It's going to have to. Because what I'm going to really do is, I'm going to eventually, when it's done, take the meat out of here, transfer it to a plate to plate it, and then I'm going to get my other seasonings ready to go. Be back in the gym. Have a good one. All right, apologies folks, I was taking care of a bit of sidebar business. And by doing so, I'm gonna turn this on. Get that going. There we go. There we go. And while that's just going, that's getting 
Yeah, I feel that. Turn it down just a touch now. Yeah, I'm gonna get my secondary style. Uh, we're coming about. And that's cool. That's, that's what we're hoping for. That's horrible. I'm hoping I'm being loud and clear for you guys. So, I'm gonna go wipe my plates up again. Cold water is preferable. Give me a good old knife. Get my uh, get my perfecto blade. Get a good blade. I'm gonna cut the back off the onion. Cut the front off the onion. It's trash. Let me get some good slices into it. Just slicing the small slitters. up on the side now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what we want too. I'm gonna set the phone back this way. Hey guys. So you're gonna mix it, getting it nice and mixed in together. Which is that is uh, paprika and garlic. Sorry, moving a little fast. The heat got a little high and away from me. So we're, we're gonna take the beef broth. We're gonna mix it right on in this together. Turn the heat back up now. Now I'm gonna show you how that's looking so far. So so far, all we've added is, is ground paprika, and we've added us uh, some garlic.
eventually I'm gonna transfer this from here to the bigger pan. Then, really, if you wanna take it up the proper notch, and this is proper, set my phone here, shouldn't have an issue. Hey guys, I'm gonna open up my oregano. I'm gonna add that right there. Nice little mix into there. Easy stir. Sprinkle more salt. And taste the pepper. Mix it on up. Now let's, this is a beginning base, but I'm going to show you how it's looking. Which is usually how you'll see Italian, you know, you looking. So what I'm about to do is, I'm about to transfer the liquid from here to this container with the meat. And then I'm going to turn it on high and let it smoke, break the meat, basically breaking the meat all the way down. Which is going to take a while, but thank God we got time. So I'm going to remove this here nice and slowly because this is nice and hot. Put the meat right over here. Pouring it all on top of the meat. And then I'm gonna add basically the rest of this beef broth, all of it. I basically I wanna do my best to cover the meat. So I'm gonna turn the stove off. Over on the other side, I'm gonna do my best to try to cover the meat. Okay, keep on pouring, try to get it covered. If it doesn't get covered, that's okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to the sink using cold water. There's a reason for that. Hot water, you don't want it to steam. Steam basically you're gonna lose some sauce and eventually, eventually what you want to happen is for it to thicken. So I'm just gonna add me some water. Nice amount of water to here. Alright, I'm gonna give this a good old shake. Giving it a good shake. And like I said, I'm going to add some more water to it. Nice amount of water. Right? Nice amount of water. And, you know, it wouldn't be flavor unless you added the onions. Now, these onions is just for flavor for now. If necessary, you can add more onion, but that all depends on the person. Make sure this is off here. This heat's getting there. Now, I would say... I'm going to put this on an 8. This is an electric stove, as I said before. And I'm going to let this go for a few hours. What's going to happen is that heat is going to help break that meat down. And then I'm going to show you how we put together my style of Italian beefs. All right, guys.